What's up guys, it's Carlos with Toy Gigante. I am in the toy lair with my good friend Hans, also known as Total Madness Customs. And we're gonna look at all his uh, his goodies, all his collection. So uh, let's take a trip down into the toy lair. Let's do this. Wow, this is quite a collection, Hans. Hey buddy, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Um, Thank you for uh, inviting me over to your lair. Yeah, thank you. Um. Just picked up a small collection of Star Wars uh, figures from a, a local uh, friend of mine in Highland Park. He gave me a great deal on them. Uh, it's total 150 pieces. Um, well, let's take a look at some so, of them up close. What do yeah, you think? yeah. So let's see what let's we got. That. We got some uh, old school uh, the Darth Vader one with the lava. The that was a Target exclusive back in the day. Yeah, right? yeah, correct. We got uh, some other cool troopers everybody was looking for from Revenge of the Sith. Um, some other troopers. See, just, just a bunch of, um, yeah. Nobody cares for these, but I thought they were pretty cool from Episode One. You know, a little dusty, but you'll be surprised. There's collectors for everything. For everything, correct? So oh, that's I, a good one right there. Yeah, the Saga, the Vintage Saga. saga um, someone told me that this is a good one, so I think um, I'll ha I think I'm gonna keep this one. You gonna keep that one? Yeah, this is so a good one. So you like to um, purchase and resell? Yeah, like I can buy people that don't want to deal with it and they don't want to put themselves out there. I'll just buy it and uh, make a quick buck if it's five buck profit or four bucks, um, whatever. I mean, everything adds up quick. Time but uh, yeah, so I mean, we got buckets here of just parts. People think like my wife thinks they're junk. I'm saying, I mean, this is, this is. This is gold. This is, I mean, if you're a customizer, this is all gold. Everything. I mean, you got, you got like $20 bodies. You got $5 bodies. You're a dollar body. You got four nights in here. I threw in because I remodeled my, cleaned up my garage during this pandemic. It was insane. But yeah, I mean, one, everything to me works. This one's know? a rare one, right? Here. Yeah, that was a good, that was this a good one. Rest. Yeah. Exclusive. You got some, some 50s in here. So this is, um, where were we at? We were at a show and they were giving out all these crazy little weapons. Cool. So we bought these. I mean, we didn't buy them, but we took them. They're like, they gave us like uh, 60 of these. Wow. And uh, I said, well, I can do this, add it to a figure. Bunch of vintage, bunch of vintage. Uh, remember, these are about three and a half feet deep. So it is pretty deep in there with toys. Same in here and then same at the bottom. I found one, huh? Yeah, I did find one. I ended up finding four, and I so hooked how up. How do you feel about this whole uh, Viper thing? Um, I think uh, the Viper is going to be... Uh, we'll be able to find him probably a little bit better than we did the Trooper. I found one on the first day mm -hmm. that they got released. So I think they're going to be a little easier to, because they're going to release him again in yeah. a different color scheme. You think so? I have a feeling they did, that they're going to do, but the Troopers, the troopers are, are the gold. If you have Troopers, keep them. Don't sell them. I, you know, 150 bucks is a lot of money. I don't think anybody should pay that much. Me personally, I won't sell them for that high. The most I'll sell them for is maybe 70 bucks. That's mm -hmm. that's it. That's my cutoff. No so, more beyond that. Just because of the so, troubles and going and dealing with everybody so hard at Target. To find at this point. Yeah. So I got that, and then uh, I end up. I know you guys are gonna be mad at me, but I end up turning one into a KMK custom. TMK custom, so you, you, so, know, you like to do the zombie stuff. Yeah, right? but I know, you know, it's 2021. Um, zombies are played out. It's gone. It's time to do characters, people, uh, actors, movie stars, rappers. That's what I'm hitting at now. And mm -hmm. molding and wrestling, doing resin and the stuff that you taught me. You know, I will have to just, you know, keep doing it. Keep learning. Do the resin stuff. To the resin stuff better. Using so different are, resins. So these are, are my customs. So this is okay. Let's see what we got here. So we got a resin uh, uh, Mandalorian mm -hmm. that I did. Um, I tried to do the baby, but uh, I should have done a, a two-piece mold, which I didn't do because I got lazy that night. But I should have. Um, this is how he comes out um, out of the out of the the mold. He comes out. I still have to sand him, clean him up, and add a little paint. But he's pretty cool. It's compared to the totally yeah. way off. I like this scale. Like yeah, and then we got, you know, we got Hans Cholo here. <laughs> you know, this I'm is what you to... do with stuff, you know. Mm. You got uh, Ray over here. She's a... 
<laughs> she's a little home girl. You know, this is what you do with, with, with peg warmers. You do something with them. Mm -hmm. You customize them. Little zombie right there. Um, I did uh, MF Doom. A tribute to MF. Let oh, me sorry. See. Let me move my hand. Let me um, see this one. A tribute to MF Doom. Okay. Cool. And then... Um, I know that he passed away recently. Yeah, he passed away. And then um, this is my newest one. So this is a cool one. I like he's wearing the Nikes. He's got his little Nikes on, his Nike little bandana. <laughs> you know, on, uh, Cousin Chewy right there. Cousin Chewy, the homie. See Han, Han Cholo in the background. Right? Yeah, you see Han Cholo back over. What is this one? Uh, uh, Notorious B.I.G. Yeah, yeah, this is a cool one, guys, because look, man, I went to, to the 99 cent store and I found uh, the body of mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the character called The Incredibles, the movie. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, I took the head off and I found another head and I end up Say, you know, I can use this body for this Biggie. Let me see. You know, Biggie and Tupac. There you go. Just a quick matchup, you know. And then, of course, Eminem. Eminem and... Uh, Eminem versus Machine the Gun Devil Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly, yeah. Yeah. I know it's an old battle, but like I said, I'm heading this way by doing these things, you know, for fun. Uh, for myself, you know. This one looks familiar. Yeah, that, that's a gift from you, so. And I just added the little flame. flame. And you painted him to look to resemble the Comic Con exclusive. Correct. Correct. Right on. And uh, yeah. You, oh, and I also over the pandemic. Yeah, uh, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> stuff, weird stuff see. in this zombie layer. And I remember this place. That. That's the one you worked on. Yeah. It yeah. was a great one. The computer that I yeah. put together, and then you custom painted. And I thought that was a good project. But when we started mm. that project. Um, it was it was it was right at the beginning of this whole madness and uh here's another custom yeah thank you for that one too heavy duty yeah yeah like i said when we started that that uh the diorama mm -hmm. um it was at the beginning of the pandemic and we were doing good and then all of a sudden people didn't have money and we weren't asking for a lot it was just 140 bucks because resin costs money the time to put it together yeah zombie uh this is a zombie container container that together mm -hmm. it's pretty cool man you guys just open it up put a zombie in there put a put anybody in here you know let's put him in there we go and look i still have one of these Get that one. yeah head in the jar thing mm -hmm. and then we got some more stuff up here yeah it goes this bunch of stuff piled up on top of each other everybody has this problem and I still have buckets. I have 15 buckets of, of figures that I don't even want to open. I don't even want to know what's in them. And then I was able to do these uh, resin, 100% resin droids. Uh, snake armor, battle armor droids. Um, these are super cool. Um, they're statues made out of resin. I put magnets for the hand. Uh, magnets. That's a good idea. Yeah, and look, up and down. This is the first one. So I, he didn't come out good, so he was shorty. Shorty works. Yeah, shorty works. And then Tolly on the right. You got some uh, original boxes down here. Yes. Uh, it goes deep. There's about maybe 35 boxes in there. Mm -hmm. They're all s small stuff, not big stuff. Bunch of G.I. Joe. Bunch of G.I. Joe's. You collect uh, random stuff. Yeah, like Ninja Turtles, Star Wars, G.I. Joe, Joe, Garbage Kids. Pail Kids, He-Man, um, Scooby-Doo's, Fortnite. A lot of Fortnite's. Um, Have you played that game? You know what? I'm not a. I, I played old video games, all the old school stuff. Uh, yeah, I play Xbox with my kid, but but not zombie stuff or like Call of Duty, but not the Fortnite. I can't figure it out. It gets me dizzy. That's yeah, these cases were very heavy, but this pandemic, you know, put a toll in selling. All my zombies old. Look, all these zombies are. Is that I, you? I had. Yeah, that's me right there. <laughs> I had about. Let me open this case real quick. I had about about seventy five zombies in there. And they're all gone. Um. Just a bunch of zombies. Huh? Yeah, they're, they're, look, even all my He-Man customs went. I sold it all. It, it, I ha it had to be done. Let me see what else I can look at. Let's yeah, you check it out. Oh, we did some, uh, I did some uh, bats. Mm -hmm. Some uh, resin uh, bats. Mm -hmm. This is my first uh, project as a... Customizer? Customizer, yeah. It's all resin, 100% me. Everything. And nice I did stuff. about 40 of those. I made a bunch of these bats over the... The break of being home last summer mm -hmm. and uh these are all 100 percent resin sanded clean painted by me and they stand and you add a little heat to them you can move their hands 
Um, everybody's done the snow trooper over the last 12 years, so it's not a big deal. I just wanted to do it for myself. You know? I wanted to change them up. But I did about 40 of these guys, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I only kept about seven. I sold everything at $20, guys. Really cheap on a card, on a custom card. $20 to give back to the community. Mm -hmm. And they went, and the people all support it, you know. This is a nice black major board that I got from uh, my friend uh, um, Johnny. He, mm -hmm. he hooked it up. Jonathan, Jonathan Clark hooked it up. Could you skate, huh? And he skates and he gave it to me as a as a Christmas gift. So I thought nice that was cool. Gift. Yeah, I appreciate him. Much love if you're out there watching this video. What else do you want to show us? The, um, see, look at all these. Uh, yeah, look, look at, the, at all these the collectibles. Shelves. Yeah. You got some of my old arcades, but well, you mm -hmm. made your own right here. Custom arcades. That's an old Stranger Things I made a long time ago. In the mm -hmm. Just a bunch of. There's so much stuff in here you can have fun with. I can be in here all day. I mean, my, look at my drawers. Putting together toys. Just putting together toys. I mean, this is like when when you're 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 doing a uh, resin mm -hmm. and you don't mix enough. This is what you get. It doesn't fill to the top. Whoa. See. That looks kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, you know, these are my supplies, body parts, a bunch of stuff. Bunch of stuff, and then my paints down here. I use all acrylic paint, and then I I have some Citadel, but uh, no oil base, all water base, and then I put a finish on every one of my projects. Get a finish, and um, see, like in here, I have a uh, here I have an just another bag. Here, let me go over here. Just another bag. I have like two more of these bags, but oh my goodness! Just uh, if I'm making customs, I just come in this, and then these are all loose figures, six He's inch. Captain Power right here. Yeah, I mean, look at that. He's from Batman. This was at the fight. I had five and below. That Star Wars guy, whatever that was. Yeah, more Batmans. There are articulate, five point articulation. Right, Hans, thank you Thanks for, for stopping by. Get your stuff and get out. Remember, there's cameras here. I got five cameras here. This is in the back. You're not going to get to it without a battle. And they're just toys. They're just toys. Mm -hmm. So if you're in the area, message me on Instagram, Total Madness Customs. If you need something, I'll hook you guys up. Support my boy, uh, Toy Gigante. Keep subscribing. And, uh,. Be safe out there, everybody. You know, we got to get through this, this madness, you know, and peace out. Right, guys, thank you for watching and another episode soon. Take, take it easy. Bye.